Okay, let's say, um, now that you created a real name for your menu item, right? Something that you actually want to use, okay? But let's say you don't want products and services, so we're going to get rid of them, okay? So we're going to go back to the back end where it says view menu items, and there's two things. You can either unpublish it or you can delete it. If you unpublish it, you can republish it later. If you delete it, you have to recreate it later. So if you're definitely not going to use products, you can just click on that, on the checkbox next to it, and then click on the word trash. If you're not sure whether you're going to use it later, you might. Services, you can click on the, the, the green check mark. And when you click on the check mark itself, it's going to turn into a red circle. Okay, so what I just did is I deleted products and I unpublished services. Does everyone understand how to get rid of menu items? Okay. We're going to go back to the front end and refresh. And now we just have home and amenities. Okay. Now amenities is not going to an amenities article, but that's okay for right now. Okay. Now just for um, this, I'm going to go in. You don't need, you've already done this. I'm just going to do this for this one is I'm going to change it to um, is there a slogan that goes with this? Okay. Only the best. Only the best? Okay. You can change that later. So that's the very basic of a menu. Let's create one more menu item. We're going to go back to the back end, menus, main menu. Click on new. Okay, and then um, click on queue contacts, actually. Almost every website has a contact us button somewhere or a menu item. So Q Context offers you a couple options. If you mouse over them, it'll tell you what it means. Since we haven't actually created a contact yet in here, I'm not sure this is going to work the way we want it to. So let's just click on um, Contact Category Layout for right now. Title, again, is the title of the menu item as it's going to appear on the front end of the website. Since we have no categories, let's see if this is going to work. Yeah, it's going to work, but it's going to be weird. OK, so all you put in was the title, basically, and then you clicked on Save. I went back to the home page at the front end, I refreshed, and now we have a Contact Us button. No contacts, but that's because we have no contacts yet. Okay. Does everyone have a Contact Us button? Ron, do you have a contact us button? That's fine. <laughs> OK. So now we've created a link to an article. And we've created a link to extension. We said that Q Context is an extension. It's actually a component that lets you create contact forms. OK. I think it makes sense to walk everyone through section, category, article, and menu. Connection, if you wish, okay. because it, 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 it's confusing, Causing especially some knowing that we had products and services that most don't have and they're sitting there. Okay. So, okay. what goes on under what and why? Okay. So, the top level is section. Okay. You have one or more sections for a small business website, usually one. And this is the file cabinet. Inside the file cabinet, we have folders, and we call those categories. And you can have lots of folders. Although I would say keep it under 10, unless you have a very good reason not to, okay? just for organization purposes. In the categories, we have articles. Okay? Now, so we have sections, categories, and articles. None of this is directly related to how menus appear on the front end of your website. Okay? There's a disconnect here. You have your filing cabinet, but it doesn't, it doesn't affect directly, immediately, how things display on the front end. It's partly for organization, and it's partly for other things. But you have your, does everyone have, Go into Content Section Manager, or actually Content Category Manager, I apologize. Content Category Manager. And if you have categories there that you do not need, you can delete them. If you do not need products, click on it and delete it. 
If you can't delete it, you can't delete it because it has like an article. It's one of those stupid things. So you have to go into <coughs> Content Article Manager, find something in Products, move it to someplace else. One second. All it's saying is you can't delete a category if there are articles in the category. Okay, so I just changed it. So now that I can, I'm going into Category Manager, and I'm deleting products. This makes absolutely no difference to the front end. The fact that I had an, a menu, menu item at one point that said products here, and the fact that I had a category called products, complete coincidence. Confusing coincidence, but coincidence nonetheless. You can have the same names if it correlates, but you, have no, you don't have to. It doesn't have anything to do with each other. Yes? So, is, so having said that, do you need to have, so what's the difference between the menu and the category okay. manager? Okay, so categories are just places to put articles. Menus can be lots of different things. A menu link can go to a single article. A menu link can go to a whole category of articles and show them all. A menu link can go to a contact us page. A menu link can go to a photo gallery. Menu links can go to just about anything they want, but there's not a direct correlation between menus and categories. The only correlation is you can have a menu item that shows the, the contents of a category. So you can make it link, but it doesn't link by itself. There's nothing telling it, hey, this is a category. Giving it the same name, irrelevant. Okay? So the fact that we had products and category and we had a menu item pro called products, total coincidence. So when, so you know how like sometimes you've got a menu, like a top menu, mm -hmm. and there's sort of like a drop down? Yeah, drop down. Mm -hmm. What would you call that? You would call it menu and submenu items. Right. And this template does not support drop downs up here. Okay. When I try to delete products, it says you can't do it because it's an article. Right. I go to article manager, mm -hmm. and I don't see which article is connected with products. Okay, so see how I you're in Article Manager. If I go to Article Manager. This one. Both of these are in oh, products. I'm sorry. So all you <laughs> need to do is go in there and move them. Okay, so menus are separate from categories and sections. This is important to understand. Okay, menus are their own thing. They can link to a category, but they can also link to an article. You can create categories that have no relevance to menu items whatsoever. Is this clear at this point? Is there anything not clear about it? Because I know it's confusing. I guess I would have probably done my same app differently. Okay. Okay. Well, you can always change it. This stuff is really easy to change. You saw how we changed the name of a section really fast. No big deal at all. Well, what, is, what is the purpose wow. of the category manager and the section manager in relation to the menu? So sections, categories, do, do they house articles and blogs? And yeah, so um, sections very rarely have any relevance to the menu, but the categories, often you want to show, let's say, a blog layout. What we call a blog layout is just more than one article on the same page. Um, <laughs> and so in that case, you might want to say, I want this menu item to show a article category blog layout. Let's, let's take a look at that. Don't do this on your own. We'll do this right here. If I go to menus and I go to main menu, I click on new, I click on articles, we saw that there were a lot of options here before. We took a look, quick look. We chose article layout, which is one article. <laughs> but we could also choose a category blog layout, which it says this layout displays an article category in blog format. So everything in that category is going to show up on that page. So that's, that's how you can use them together, is you can use a menu link that goes to a whole category. You don't have to, though. And the same thing you can do with a section, although you very rarely do that. Okay. You could also make a list instead of, which is just a list of all the articles in a category. So I'm going to cancel that. Can you have articles that are not in a section? You can have articles that are not in a section, but I do not recommend it. You can have uncategorized articles, but it's a pain. Um, basically, it's kind of a pain because it makes it harder to find them later. It makes it harder if you want to display them as like a, as like a blog layout like we saw. Just kind of silly.